altars were for. And before we go any further, one of the things I want to cover, since most of this chapter is, is literally revolves around this altar, is what we see in many churches today with an altar call. Now, I don't believe that altar calls, as they're practiced in churches today, are scriptural. And I don't think they should be done. I'm going to ex explain why. Now, just because I believe that doesn't mean that there's nothing good can ever come from an altar call or whatever like that. There are some things that I think, you know, maybe some good results, things can happen. But there's a lot of good things that can happen in many things that we do. But the things that we do, we ought to be looking to Scripture for and backing up by the Bible and, and following God's methods and God's practice and God's pattern. Right. So uh, an easy example is with soul winning, you know, God, the, the, the pattern that, that the Bible gives for us is to go out two and two, you know, in the streets and the highways and the hedges from house to house. Right. And to go and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, there's many other ways to preach the gospel. I'm not saying that any of those are bad or wrong, but we need to make sure that we're following God's standard and, and what he tells us to do and uh, at least be able to back it up with that. Um, and, and that's not the perfect analogy for what we see here, because there's actually some things, there's some aspects of an altar call that I think are, are just wrong and shouldn't be done at all. And this is the reason why I think they shouldn't be practiced. I don't have a problem with people making a decision to, you know, change something in their life for, as a result of hearing a sermon, right? Or, or I'm definitely not against somebody getting saved in a church service, right, and calling on the name of the Lord. Of course, I'm okay with that, but my, my, what my point is going to be, and you'll see this as we get through and, and understand what the altar is, um, there's plenty of other ways for people to get saved. And I think people could, those same exact people that would have gotten saved at the, or that have gotten saved at an altar call can very easily have gotten saved and probably even more people would get saved if they were approached one-on-one -on -one after a service instead of relying on the altar call for someone to actually stand up and come before the whole church to get saved. So praise God for the people that came forward during an altar call and ended up, you know, putting their faith and their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not, you know, I, I, of course we're happy about that, but when we, everything we do, especially the things we do in church, Let's model it and pattern it off of the way that God explains and, and tells us how to do things.